What's going on YouTube? This is NecroStevo and it's time for some February ICL matches. Now you've already seen a little preview of how the team works. Fair warning, I was really sick when I was doing these matches so I make some poor decisions. But I also have some interesting matches where I'm able to come back from some poor decisions. Now I actually have a pretty good lead matchup here. Um, all I needed to do was to switch on my Escavalier. But for some reason I thought that that was way too obvious and so I just stayed in and went for the quick guard. Uh, not a great play. My opponent just flare blitzes a Scavalier in the face. So, really, really bad start to this match overall. Um, I, I don't know, I just thought that flare blitz was way too obvious and I had things like Melodic and my own Talon Flame to take a flare blitz. So, um, even more unfortunately on that first turn, I get poisoned by the poison jab, which is huge. Um, we see that poison jab, especially after Draining Kiss, is like a five hit KO. Uh, he poisons me on the very, very first one, which really impacts my longevity. Uh, he does surprise me with Quick Guard on his Mega Gallade here. Um, he's able to get off a great amount of damage on my Talon Flame with his Flare Blitz. Uh, and I am able to hit his Mega Gallade again with another Draining Kiss. I get a crit. Doesn't end up mattering at all, though, because I have Poison status on my Mega Audino. Um, and with that just whittling away my HP, it really takes away from my survivability. Now right here I predicted another quick guard, and so I hoped that a helping hand boosted Flare Blitz would be enough to KO that Talon Flame, but I barely miss it on the KO, and so we're going to have one of those classic double down scenarios here, where I go down to his Flare Blitz and then the recoil takes him out. And so the Talon Flames end up KOing each other in the sky in kind of a, a blaze of glory there and a Flare Blitz glory. Um, not, not the optimal situation as I'm down to my last two Pokemon here and he's only lost one. So, uh, I go out into Melodic who really should have been my initial switch into the Talon Flame in the first place. I'm just not playing well. I think this was my first match of the ICL actually. I'm just not playing well generally though. And I went for Calm Mind there hoping to be able to take a Hyper Voice from Sylveon better than I do. And with poison, it just is too little too late, unfortunately. Uh, I did take it though, for what it's worth. Melodic is not going to be able to take on three Pokemon by itself without a competitive boost, unfortunately. Um, I did just go for Helping Hand there just because there's no way. And, and when I went for Calm Mind on that turn, I really should have just used Raining Kiss on the Gallade. Maybe I would have had a chance to finish it off at that point, I'm not sure. Uh, but Life Orb Sylveon is not something that I've really seen in doubles before. Typically there's Specs, and I've seen Pixie Plate. Um, Life Orb just seems to take away from Sylveon's ability to take hits relatively well. But you know, to each their own, it did the work here that I needed to. And Gallade is still on the field at the end of the battle. So that was the first match. Not a great start to the ICL. Uh, I, I really could have played better, especially with the Scavalier right in the beginning of the match. I think Brave Bird is a... 3 hit KO on a bold max defense melodic, um, especially with heal pulse support. So, eh, not not the best way to play there. Now here's another match where Mega Audino really gets to show its stuff. Um, I let off with melodic. Again, thinking the electric move is way too obvious, I was afraid of a secondary coverage move coming from a Scavalier. Uh, not from a Scavalier, from Electivire, excuse me. So I just decided to stay in but it turns out that he has Energy Ball on his Mega Alakazam, which I did not see that coming either. That is just not a very common move on Alakazam. Uh, I was surprised at how little damage it did coming from a Mega Alakazam, um, especially when I'm not invested in Special Defense at all. And then he's able to take me out with a Thunder Punch from about 70% uh, HP. So, doubly surprising there. I was definitely expecting to just live and then use Icy Wind to lower both of their speeds. But that's neither what happened or what even was in the possibility of happening because they just knocked down my melodic immediately. Now here, I really should have helping hand boosted that uh, Flare Blitz, but I thought it'd be enough to take out a, uh, the Electivire. I was really surprised when it KO'd me back with a Thunder Punch there. That just, and Mega Audino is just over here calm minding up because that has become my win condition since all my Pokemon are just coming in and dying basically. Uh, I am able to finish off Electivire finally it should have been KO'd so long ago if I had been playing better with a Mach Punch. He's going to bring me down to my Focus Sash, and he's also going to bring in his Infernape here. And I really thought here that it was basically over, 
because we see that I'm unable to two hit KO even after two calm minds, the Mega Alakazam. And he strangely doesn't have fake out with, an, with his Infernape. So I'm able to get a good amount of damage off on Infernape. Uh, Infernape is the priority now. Since I see that Alakazam has Psychic and not Psy Shock, I know I'll be able to take its hits no matter what it does. And Infernape doesn't do really anything to me, any notable damage with that close combat. And I'm able to get another free Calm Mind. Um, I wanted to make sure I KO'd the Infernape with the next attack that I hit it with, uh, just because he's getting defense drops, but I really need the HP back if I'm going to take on his last two Pokemon. Uh, and so after the drop from close combat and now I'm at plus three with Mega Audino, I am able to take it out with a Draining Kiss. And my opponent keeps on going for Energy Ball. I'm not really sure why. I guess he was fishing for the special defense drops, but even then Psychic can drop special defense too. So I'm not really sure why I kept going for Energy Ball. But that being said, he goes for Thrash with Tyranitar. I much prefer to see that over the uh, Rock-type attack. So, um, a little bit unconventional movesets from my opponent. But he is winning because I was playing so poorly. It is not fun to play Pokemon with 102 degree fever. But I really wanted to try out Mega Anno in this competition. I was determined to do so. Uh, I'm able to live another turn of Thrash and Energy Ball combination from my opponent's two Pokemon, take out the Tyranitar with a Draining Kiss, and Tyranitar's HP is high enough that I'm able to get a good amount of HP back from that. Uh, and now I'll be able to KO the Alakazam with just one more Draining Kiss. Um, we see the damage that he's been doing with Energy Ball, and it's just not enough to do anything. Unfortunately though, he gets that critical hit when it matters the most. Uh, I think if he had been using Psychic that whole time, he, he would have KO'd me anyway, but it was just, it was right there. All I needed to do was to live the energy ball and then KO him back with Draining Kiss. Uh, so a little bit of a tough loss there. Again, me playing poorly, so I kind of put the game down until the next morning. I think this is the, ma the match that I had the next morning. Uh, but I had a really good lead matchup against my opponent here. Competitive, immediately activating, and giving me plus two special attack. I'm going to take Volcarona's attack well unless it has uh, Giga Drain, which is unusual. And also, of course, Landorus will not want to really take an Icy Wind. Um, hoping that I don't get flinched from the Rock Slide here. We see how little damage that Rock Slide does to my two Pokemon. And Bug Buzz really doesn't do any notable damage either. I'm not, um, I'm unable to really do damage with Icy Wind, of course, against the Volcarona. But more importantly, I'm able to drop its speed while KOing Landorus at the same time. So that was a fantastic turn. Now right here, I really just wanted to take out the Volcarona, and um, I didn't know what to expect from Conkleder. I knew it might have Poison Jab, but other than that, neither of my Pokemon really care about Conkleder, but he surprises me with Knockoff doing that much damage. I did not expect Knockoff to do that much. Uh, I am able to finish off Volcarona immediately, not giving it an opportunity to set up, and uh, Draining Kiss is almost a 2 hit KO on Conkleder. I don't think that... Um, he, he might have a Lumberry or maybe a Fist Play or something. Since he, he's able to switch moves, but I don't see any recoil or anything from any of his moves. So it's, I'm a little confused as to what he has. Uh, Mega Metagross is quite concerning. He goes for Zen Headbutt, which does take out Melodic. Um, if Melodic had a little bit more HP, I had a chance of living that depending on his uh, spread. Um, but... What's even more weird in this situation is that the fact that my uh, Audino is outspeeding his Conkleder. So Poison Jab poisons me again. That is a running trend throughout the entire ICL. Whenever my opponents are using Poison Jab, Audino gets poison. Really, really annoying. Um, right here, if I hadn't gotten, I think, um, I don't know. I, I really think that I had an opportunity to switch out there. But I knew that if I if I just switched into Aegislash here, he was going to knock off, and he really wanted to KO Audino. So I kind of left Audino in, forcing him to attack it. If he didn't attack it, then I was going to take out his Conkleder. And I don't really care about Conkleder with Aegislash out because, of course, I can just use King Shield against his attacks. Um, but that gives me a great opportunity to go ahead and KO the Mega Metagross. And that leaves him with just Conkleder against Talonflame, so that's going to be the end of that match. But I hope you guys enjoyed these first three battles that I had in the ICL. You kind of see me starting to play a little bit better as my condition improved when I was sick there. But uh, in the meantime, I will talk to you guys later and have a great weekend. Bye bye.